Joint Special Operations Command. Overview. Who overview overview? The JSOC is the joint headquarters designed to study special operations requirements and techniques, ensure interoperability and equipment standardization, plan and conduct joint special operations exercises and training, develop joint special operations tactics. For this task, the Joint Communications Unit is tasked to ensure compatibility of communication systems and standard operating procedures of the different special operations units. Special Mission Units Advanced Force Operations Advanced Force Operations AFO is a term used by the U.S. Department of Defense to describe a task force that encompasses personnel from Delta Force, Regimental Reconnaissance Company RRC, and SEAL Team 6. Many locations will have a mixture of operators from one of these three units working together as a small interoperable team. Although mainly a term in many cases used to describe a particular subset of Delta Force operators, the term AFO also was later known used to describe mixed special mission unit elements doing long-range RICSA/slash long-range target interdiction operations, etc. According to General Michael Repass, who conducted it in the Iraq War, and was very familiar with its use in Afghanistan, AFO consists of U.S. Secretary of Defense approved military operations such as clandestine operations. It is logically part of the operational preparation of the battle space OPB, which follows the intelligence preparation of the battle space. In the Iraq War, Repass, who first commanded the 10th Special Forces Group, took control of a joint unconventional warfare task force which used the 5th and 10th groups to conduct AFO. AFO units were heavily involved in Operation Anaconda and Operation Viking Hammer. JSO Package Slash Rotational Group The Joint Special Operations Package Slash Rotational Group of the United States Special Operations Command consists of Tier 1, and Tier 2 U.S. Joint Special Operations Command units that train and deploy together. All Tier 1 and Tier 2 units maintain three separate operational groups within their respective units, the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Battalions of the 75th Ranger Regiment, as an example. These groups are essentially identical and deployed within their respective JSOC package. The rotational cycle is generally for three months. This allows one group to be deployed overseas, another to be on an 18-hour worldwide emergency deployment notice, and the last group to be training, attending military schools, or on block leave. Tier 1 and Tier 2 units take leave together within their respective JSOC package. This term is called block leave. Given the wartime tasking of JSOC, an additional deployment package is currently being created. This will allow less operational strain on these units. Security Support JSOC has provided domestic law enforcement agencies support during high-profile or high-risk events such as the Olympics, the World Cup, political party conventions, and presidential inaugurations. Although the use of the military for law enforcement purposes in the U.S. is generally prohibited by the Posse Comitatus Act, Title X of the U.S. Code expressly allows the Secretary of Defense to make military personnel available to train federal, state, and local civilian law enforcement officials in the operation and maintenance of equipment, and to provide such law enforcement officials. Additionally, civilian and military lawyers set provisions in several federal statutes, including the Fiscal Year 2000 Defense Department Authorization Act, Public Law 106-65 permits the Secretary of Defense to authorize military forces. In January 2005, a small group of commandos was deployed to support security at the presidential inauguration. They were allegedly deployed under a secret counterterrorism program named Power Geyser. The New York Times quoted a senior military official as saying, They bring unique military and technical capabilities that often are centered around potential WMD events, a civil liberties advocate who was told about the program by a reporter said that he had no objections to the program as described to him because its scope appeared to be limited to supporting the Operational history As part of the war on terror, 
JSOC carries out operations in numerous nations across the globe, particularly in failed and failing states in an attempt to stop jihadists from gaining a safe haven. These operations are conducted under the authority of two executive orders, 2004's Al-Qaeda Network Execute Order, which allowed JSOC to operate in a Operation Enduring Freedom Afghanistan, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operations in Pakistan. According to the Washington Post, JSOC's Commander Lieutenant General Stanley McChrystal operated in 2006 on the understanding with Pakistan that U.S. units will not enter Pakistan except under extreme circumstances, and that Pakistan will deny giving them permission if exposed. That scenario happened, according to the Islamic Republic news agency Erna. In January 2006, JSOC troops clandestinely entered the village of Said Gai, Pakistan, to hunt for Osama bin Laden. Pakistan refused entry. According to a November 2009 report in The Nation, JSOC, in tandem with Blackwater Slash Sea, has an ongoing drone program, along with snatch slash grab slash assassination operations, based in Karachi and conducted both in and outside of Pakistan. In an October 2009 leak published on the WikiLeaks website, U.S. Embassy communication cables from the U.S. Ambassador to Pakistan, and W. Patterson, states the Pakistani Army approved the embedding of U.S. Special Operations Forces, including elements from the Joint Special Operations Command, with the Pakistani military to provide support. This goes beyond the original claims of the U.S. that the only role of the Special Forces was in training the Pakistani military. The leak further revealed that JSOC elements involved in intelligence gathering and surveillance and use of drone UAV technology. JSOC is credited with coordination of Operation Neptune Spear that resulted in the death of Osama bin Laden on 1 May 2011. Operations Juniper Shield Special operations carried out in North Africa are under the codename Operation Juniper Shield. At the time of the 2012 Benghazi attack, small teams from CIA Special Activities Division and JSOC were both conducting operations in Libya, most probably advance work on the later snatch missions conducted by Delta Force. In 2014, southern Libya remained a melting pot of armed militias and jihadists. To counter the influence of ACOM, JSOC teams, U.S. Army Special Forces, French COS and Algerian Special Forces have deployed to the region to hunt down ACOM elements. Operation Enduring Freedom Horn of Africa and Al-Qaeda Insurgency in Yemen. Operation Inherent Resolve. On 4 July 2014, a JSOC force of several dozen SOF operators attempted to rescue several American hostages held by ISIL. However, none of the hostages JSOC hoped to rescue were there. On 25 March 2016, Special Operations Forces in Syria killed ISIL commander Abu al Afri. Operation Kayla Mueller On 26 October 2019, U.S. Joint Special Operations Command's JSOC Delta Force conducted a raid into the Idlib province of Syria on the border with Turkey that resulted in the death of Braham Awad Ibrahim Ali al-Badri al-Samurai, also known as the Ithuaz, the Ithuaz, the Ithuaz. The raid was launched based on a CIA Special Activities Center intelligence collection and close target reconnaissance effort that located the leader of ISIS. Launched after midnight local time, the eight helicopters carrying the teams along with support aircraft crossed hundreds of miles of airspace controlled by Iraq. Upon arrival, efforts were made for Baghdadi to surrender with those efforts unsuccessful U.S. forces responded by blowing a large hole into the side of the compound. After entering, the compound was cleared, with people either surrendering or being shot and killed. The two-hour raid culminated with Baghdadi fleeing from U.S. forces into a dead-end tunnel and detonating a suicide vest, killing himself along with three of his children. The complex operation was conducted during the withdrawal of U.S. forces northeast Syria, adding to the complexity. List of JSOC commanders